Good night, Madeline. Good night, Andres. Good night, Tisha. Good night. It's been a pleasure to have you here back, sir. <laughs> okay, thanks. Madeline, hi, how are you? Is Madeline here? Could you guys be so kind to turn it on your cameras, please? Okay, for sure. Oh my God. Hey, I like your background. Thanks, teacher. Hey, hey what about you, Madeline? Oh my God, she's a little beautiful girl. <laughs> good, good night, teacher. Now it's my turn. Hey, good night. <laughs> <laughs> How are yeah. you? I'm fine, and you? Oh, amazing. Yeah, I'm so, so happy to start a new model. Woo, yes, I miss my babies. That's what I say all the time. I miss my babies. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So just because you're going to be my babies, even though you're grown up, guys, you're going to be my <laughs> babies. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. I got Glandy also, you know. I do have also Jocelyn. And Amelia Flamenco. I will prefer, guys, if you, if you everybody turn on your cameras as Giovanni and Madeline has done. You see, you're a lovely girls. You're so beautiful, girls. There's nothing to be ashamed about, right? Oh my God. Thank you, teacher. Of course. <laughs> you already know. I know it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know what? I think Mr. Andres Giovanni it has exactly similar background of my one. Well, in my house, because actually that is our uh, the name of our academy in the background, but that's okay. All righty, let's see. Oh my God. You know what? Giovanni and Fernando are blessed between girls. How does it feel, guys? Oh my God. Yeah, how does it feel? It's good, right? <laughs> I got Kenya. Yeah, Hey, hi, Kenya. Hey, hi, Fernanda. I have Alexander. Okay, no, you know what? I better zip it because I have Alexander already here. All righty. So three boys. That's good. But it's still girl power. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Kenya and Alexander, please turn around your cameras if you don't mind. I like to see your faces, your beautiful faces. Because basically it's the first time that we are together, right, guys? The first time. Yeah. Yes, it is. Uh, welcome to the jungle. Sorry, welcome to the class. Thank you. <laughs> nice to meet you, teacher. Nice to meet you too. We're gonna have so much fun, right? I promise we're gonna have so much fun. You will see that this teacher sometimes is a little cuckoo, but at the same time, it's practical. <laughs> yeah. Why so um serious, Mr. Valdiviezo? Uh I am my serious teacher. Oh, no way. With me, you're not going to be serious. You're going to have so much fun and laugh a lot. Yeah, I, I promise <laughs> that. No, I understand because basically right now, right, you already had like a finish your shift. Sometimes you're like a little bit um, tired, right? So I, it's pretty understandable. That's good. Hey, guys, would you, would you prefer... Let me uh, speak the whole time English. Or sometimes would you like me to prefer to, to speak like um, 10% Spanish? I think teacher both, if both? we can. Okay. Yeah. I will try to do my best. Because <laughs> my Spanish is not too good. Well, yeah, it is, it is. Well, well, when I like practice it like frequently, but since I speak English since really 6 a.m. in the morning until now, so sometimes I'll, I forgot things. So let's make a deal, guys. Let's make a deal. Uh, you're going to be, I'm going to be your English mentor and you're going to be my first uh, mentor. How does it work? Good, right? I would like to be like you in the future, teacher. Yeah, you will. We practice. Why not? Of course. Of course, no, no. Practice makes perfection. I always said that. Oh my God, I have a Thelma Kiotilde, right? Oh my God. This is a beautiful lady. Nice to meet you. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you too. Hello. My pleasure, Madame. Yeah, it's good. Uh, Hadori is Josue Alexander. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of people here. Yeah, there's the spirit. Yeah, you know what? You're gonna have a lot of fun. I have a lot of energy, as you can see. 
right now, eh? Mm -hmm. So I will have, you're not gonna fall asleep. And if you're falling asleep, ooh, I don't have a marker, right? But <laughs> no, don't worry. We're gonna play the games, et cetera. That's okay. Um, guys, how long have you been within Glass Corporativo? How long have you been with Academy? Only one of the time, I know. Everybody wants to participate, I know that. I know that, but hold your horses, hold your horses. <laughs> All right, yeah. Volunteer. All righty. Thank you, Madeline. Go ahead. <laughs> Hello. Yes. Uh, well, uh, nice to meet you, my classmate. And uh, my name is Madeline. And um, right now, I'm nervous. I know no. that uh, I want to learn English and I want to uh, uh, develop my skill, uh, my speaking skill, and my writing and my grammar also. I think that all uh, of this, uh, of that skills are important, and I, I, I want to learn that, and, and I will do my my best. And nice to meet you. Nice to meet. That's what I want to hear. I want to do my best. That's the point. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you uh, speak like fluently or if you have a um, a small or a little bit of huge vocabulary. Basically, um, it doesn't matter. As long as you have the spirit and they're willing to learn, that's all that matters. That's all that matters with me. Yeah, you know, and I will. I will help you. Basically, that if you guys have the opportunity to be a nice student, right? And double check your student's book, you will see in the introduction that is one part of the, that is one of the goals to reach in this model, to develop you know what develop is develop you understand what the more develop is yes oh my goodness you're so smart that's what i love very good hey will it all righty yeah so develop your skills your um the qualities the characteristics the exactly that will help you um basically improve not only your um english right but at the same time uh, have the opportunity to grow to grow right inside the company that you work for or maybe ap apply for a different job a different area different company right that's good that's what you're here for right yeah i like that too mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all. We're gonna help you with that. I have seen, guys, that some of you uh, works in a call center, right? Mm -hmm. Welcome, because I have 14 years of call center experience. So don't worry about that. <laughs> We're gonna help you a lot about it. Yeah, I'm gonna give you some tips and everything. It's gonna be so much fun. There you go. I'm so happy that I can listen what your your expectations on this bottle. But I want to hear somebody else as well besides Miss Madeline. No, Miss Moline. <laughs> All right. No, you're Mrs. Moline because you're single, right? Hopefully. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Very, very In good. This moment, yeah. <laughs> I just, okay, guys, listen. I'm, I'm just kidding. No, 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 no. All right. Very good. I okay, only have so, a boyfriend. Uh, so, <laughs> no, don't pay attention anymore. All right. <laughs> All right. Very good. All right. Uh, Amelia, don't go. Please don't go. Don't go. Don't go away. All right. Very good. <clears throat> I don't have like soprano voice, but I. I'm trying to do my best. All right, very good. So let me double check who else. Kenya, I like your smile. So let me hear ya. Which are your expectations for this particular model? <gasps> to be honest with you, I don't listen to you. Mm -mm, no. Don't worry, take your time, I rush. <sighs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> don't worry take your time fix it okay and when you're fix it let me know don't worry let me ask somebody else in the meantime um jocelyn hey Josie. could can i ask you can i uh name you like uh or call you jocelyn or joshi or how does it work that whatever you want you. you ask me jocelyn 
Yeah. Hey, Jul- you know what? I have a really close friend. Her name is Jocelyn too. And I always name her Joshi. So I'm going to call it, uh, name no, you Joshi. Is okay. Okay. Okay, Joshi. So which yeah. are your expectations for this model? Mm, well, good evening, first of all. Eh, nice to meet you, teacher. Eh, well, my expectation for this model is to improve my pronunciation, my mm-hmm. English skill. Mm-hmm. I hope to learn a lot. Ooh. And I hope to apply what I learn. Uh-huh. Those are my expectations to improve my English skill, especially my pronunciation. Oh, but you have a really good one. I'm so happy. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's good. That's <laughs> really good. Very good. So, so basically, similar to what Madeline had said, right? Similar. Very good. Excellent. Yes. Thank you, Joshi. What about Kenny? Is it already there? Is it working? Let's cross her fingers. No, it's not working. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Continue fixing, don't worry. That's okay. Uh, Thelma, Miss Thelma Cleotilde. Yes, Cleotilde Peña. Please. Yes, this Peña. is my name. All righty. Yeah. What, which are your expectations for this model, Miss Peña? Well, I will, I would like to learn a little more, mm-hmm. practice my uh, earlier grammar. Ooh. And so um, to know, to know more. Yeah, you're good. Very yeah, good. Yes. And you will. Because basically this model, this uh, in support um, course, you said some kind of more practical. Yeah. So, so we're going to focus on listening uh speaking and uh, grammar grammar is really important you know what i'm a grammar holic yeah i i need grammar a lot <laughs> yes. um, i'm sorry sure. right. i gonna mm-hmm. i i gonna learn <laughs> yeah of course you will yeah, I, I will give you 20 percent, and all of you will give me 80 percent. how does it work all right <laughs> first go, first go. <laughs> yeah cool and you know what i'm grammar holic so sometimes it will be your worst nightmare yes Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, but you know what? I, I'm a teacher. I always think that um, I don't. Uh, we do not care how much you learn. We do care that the thing that you learned, you ran, you learned it correctly since that beginning. So basically, okay. I will be focusing. I will be like a pain on your back regarding grammar. Because okay. I do, I don't. I get uh, in my case, I don't care about how you write in Spanish. But I do care how you write in English because it's really, really important. You know what? Pantation, intonation, and all of the I think, words that ends in Asian. <laughs> yes, it will be really, really tough with me. <laughs> but that's that is okay, what I want to. I want you to focus on that, and I will focus on the intonation, on the pronunciation, and etc. All right. So that's good. We're go- we're going to have a that's really good, good team. Yes, don't worry, don't be afraid. <laughs> you know what, Mr. I think look at Mr. Jose Alberto Sala. He's like, oh my God. I think I'm gonna switch group, you know. <laughs> don't worry. Uh, I don't bite. Well, unless you ask. I'm just kidding. All righty. So let me listen right now. One of our handsome boys of this group. Let's listen to Alex. Alexander. Hi. 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 I love your background. Hey. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so tell me, which are your expectations for this model? For this model? Yeah, actually, I would like to start by saying that I feel so glad to be here in this new group. And also, uh, I'm trying to Im- improve my English skills every single day. And my mm. expectations are basically uh, improve my pronunciation, uh, my fluency, my listening, everything about English, right? Because I would like to um, learn more about grammar. And Mm -hmm. the reason why when you are talk about that, uh, I feel so glad because I need that actually. Uh, Thank you so much for (laughs) giving me an open way because you will suffer. (laughs) <laughs> no, not just you. Know. <laughs> That's what I said. Welcome to the jungle. Sorry, welcome to the class, right? Because yeah. we're gonna have so much fun, but at the same time, we'll be like a tough teacher. 
Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but that's good. I like the spirit. I like your spirit, guys. That's the spirit. <laughs> yeah, we're good. So we're going to have so much fun. There you go. Give me a yeah. five, Alex. <laughs> yeah, excellent. Thank you so much for sharing. Let me double check who else. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, I, we have a really handsome guy today, Mr. Erwin Lagos. Mr. Lagos, hi. hi. How, How are you, you doing, sir? Pretty good. Thank you so much for asking about yourself. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Oh, all righty. Uh, Mr. Lagos, share with us, with everybody, which are your expectations for this model? Yes, I try to practice. I try to do it. I try. Yeah, and you will keep trying and trying and trying. Yes. Yes, for 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 to be a, a good student in English, we have to practice mm -hmm. all the time and, and and speak all the time. Yeah, you know what? One group practice. Well, I will give you a tip, guys. Um, before I start every class, I always like search for um, English music. Ah, perfect. Yes. Yeah. So, for example, I'm starting like. Depends on which language I'm gonna teach or what language I will practice, uh, but in this case, um, I start listening to music, and that is it is related to the language that I'm gonna learn on the language I'm gonna teach, right? So that helps like my brain to do like a warm up. Like when you go to the gym before you do the exercises, you need to stretch out, right? Stretch and do something la la la. To, to prepare your body for the hard workout, right? So in this yes. case, it's exactly the same on your brain. Yes. Just listen to music and all the stuff. So you're, and you will feel like doing that, right? Doesn't matter if you have a soprano voice or not, that's okay. All right. So you're going to prepare your brain and that will be a little bit easy when you start um, English classes. Yes. That's a tip. Perfect. Perfect. Very good. That's good. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Lagos, and welcome to today's class. We'll thank have you, so much fun. All right, Thank one you. more, one more. Uh, 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 uh. Let's do it a different way. Okay, guys, I'm thinking a number for one to 10. Give me one number, Jessica. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. One number. Yep. Yeah. Uh, seven. Close, but no. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Uh, Fernando, what about you? Hi. Hi. Uh, well, uh, I want to, to improve my English. That is the reason that I am here. Uh, I know I need a lot of, of vocabulary and I I want to, to learn more vocabulary. I hope that at the end of this module, I can speak. Sorry, my, my dog is barking. Don't worry. This it, it is a, it's an, an extra, an external, you know what, a, a student. So I understand that perfectly. Don't worry about that. Yes, um, that that's but basic, basically that's it. Uh, I want to improve my uh, English skills, uh, speak uh, speaking skills, and uh, and learn a lot of vocabulary because uh, that is the a lack of my my knowledge right now in English. No, that's okay. Uh, yeah, you know what the dog uh, says. Yes, that's right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, little pets understand English. You know, in my case, my pets speak three languages. Not like fluently, right? But at least they understand some commandments, right? Some keywords. Oh. Yeah. And sometimes I say the same, the same word in the three languages, but depends on their mood, they decide to obey in Spanish or in English or in French, whatever they please. And I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, they're like that. There's some crazy sometimes. And you know what? You know what I, what I want to share with you? That I... Uh, I don't know what happened. They could be laying on the sofa like this, right? And when they listen that I said bye-bye to all of you, you cannot imagine. They like, whoop. And when I open the door, they are outside waiting for me like this. I don't know <laughs> how, how they understood that bye-bye means that we'll finish class, but you cannot imagine. So this is a new command that they have recently learned. So that's, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and, yeah and, oh, thank you so much, Fernando. Okay, so give me a number, William, uh, Mr. Alexander Ramirez Flores, um, from one to three. Two? 
Yay, you got it. Oh, that was easy, right? <laughs> All righty, very good. Okay, so William, uh, could you, would you like us to call you William, Alex? No, because we have Alexander Jesus. Oh, let me double check. We can, maybe William or Bill? Yeah. Maybe Bill? William, William is okay. William, okay, okay, Mr. William. All right, tell us a little bit what your expectation for this model. Uh, well, as my partner said, uh, for example, learn about um, new vocabulary, uh -huh. uh, grammar, our uh, listening, improve English in general. Improve English in general. All righty. All right. So you're, you're very good. I like it. Yeah. So basically, guys, thank you, Will. And uh, most of you have the same expectations, right? There you go. Yeah. And you will definitely. I have blank you, Stephanie. Thank you, Ms. Navarro, for being here. Oh, you're sleepy, William. Yeah, I'm a little sick. Oh my God. Have you uh, took any medication, any pills? Yeah. Ah, that's why. So you're like, Ugh. you know what? You, sh you should, wear don't worry. No, you don't have to feel sorry about that. I understand that perfectly. You should like buy what, some of the glasses that has like an eyes rose. Oh, really? And you will pretend to be awake, right? But you were yeah. not, okay? <laughs> Just a tip. Okay, guys, Thanks. you're welcome. All right, let's do some warm up before we like move on. Um, do you know, or do you remember the body parts, right? No, don't tell mm. me that no. Oh, wait a minute, no way. We're gonna make like a little bit like a refresh. But have you already played um, a game that says, uh, Simon Says? Yeah, have you played that yes, game teacher. before? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So basically in this case, we're gonna work with the body parts, right? Of course, not the entire body because we just see him from here to here, right? But um, I just want to make a little refresh and then I will give you like the um, game's rules, okay? How do you say this in English? How do you hair. say this? Hair. Hair. What? Hair. 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 You see? Hair. Because you can you can confuse with her that talking about a girl. Her hair. You see? Hair. Like a little nyaka nyaka, like a little witch. Right? Don't worry. Don't worry. You know what? One of the things that I will give it to you a tip is that. You need you can express yourself with the vocabulary that you know so far. Don't try to like switch for a sophisticated words, no way. Because in English, that's what I like English, that you can say the same thing with a different way. Depends on the uh, vocabulary that you have. So try to use the vocabulary that you have. And where we're trying to pronounce don't feel afraid to do like mm, 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 like this, right? Uh, if if that will help you uh, improve your intonation, because we're going to do a lot of facial expressions, a lot of them, and so sometimes you will feel like Goofy. You remember what, who is Goofy? Goofy, remember? Like, yes, I remember. Uh, 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 right, you see Mickey Mouse friend, something like that. Okay, so Goof. When we say Goofy in English, it's like sometimes we can feel like we are like. A little bit crazy when we're pronouncing but if if you have to like uh do the facial muscles movement do it because uh, there are some um sounds in english that we don't have in spanish and so on so our our um, voice our throat are not used to pronounce it but sometimes we need to exaggerate our facial expressions in order to have the correct intonation right so it, that's why I said, you said her, when we're talking about she, hair, when we're talking about part of your body, you see, hair, like mm -mm -mm. hair, yes, all right, all righty, so let's do it, you said hair, right, or her, hair, 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 hair. very good, what about this, uh-huh, close, 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 I buy uh, 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 uh. No, this is eyebrow. Yes, very good. Uh, yeah. Sorry. And these are slashes. Um, head. Yes. Forehead. Very Forehead. good. Forehead. What about this? Nope. Nose. Nose. 
Oh. What about this? Chicks. Chicks. Like bo uh, bo square pants, uh, pal, right? Yeah. Sandy chicks. Yeah. What about this? Ears. 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 Very good. What about this? Chin. Chin. Excellent. Good job. What about this? Throw. No. Neck. No. Throw no. is the is, is inside. <laughs> neck. Is, neck. Yeah. You remember when you're about to get fired, you're going through like in the neck, right? Remember that is in Spanish. Yeah. Um, I think um, idiom, right? Yeah. What about this? Shoulders. 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 What? Shoulders. 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 All right. Very good. Excellent. What about this? Elbow. 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 What about this? Fingers. 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 And this? Risk. Hand. This is wrist. Yes. And this is hand. Yeah. And this? Nails. 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 Very good. Yeah. Excellent. And what about this? Back. 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 Excellent. Okay, so we already know, right, what we're talking about. Good. So let's practice what Simon said. Let's practice this game. Um, okay. The, this teacher is a little bit tricky. I want you to know from now on, from day one. Mm -hmm. Yes, because... I'm going to say something, but you need to pay attention. First of all, if I said Simon says, because if I don't say Simon says, and you touch one of the body that, I, that you listen to me, that I said, you lose. Because I have to say Simon says. Second of all, I could say something, but I could touch a different part of my body. So you gotta be concentrated. And you got to touch the part of your body that you listen to me, not that you watch me. Okay. And if you're taking forever, right? For example, like more than uh, five seconds to, oh my God, where's my forehead? And you were like, mm. and, and, and you like took like forever to, to like move your hand to your forehead, right? To connect your communication between your brain and your hand. Right? So you're also, you're going to lose. Got it? Yeah. Okay, so let's practice, right? Let's practice. Okay. Okay, guys. Simon says, touch your chin. You lose, Amelia. <laughs> yeah, because you were like, my chin. Where is my chin? Yeah. <laughs> you see? You see how it works? All right, let's let's practice. Okay, Se second example. Okay, we'll give you a chance. Okay, Simon says, touch your back. Simon says, touch your head. Oh. Simon says, touch your chin. Touch your neck. Hey, you lose. Because I didn't say Simon says. Ah, you see? <laughs> ah, you're like, damn. <laughs> So you see how does it work? Yeah? Now you got it? Cool. Okay, yeah. now yes. Okay. All right. Simon says, touch your nice. No, no, no. So it's like your nails. <laughs> Simon says, touch your nails. Simon says, touch your wrist. Ah! Yeah. Bye, Amelia. <laughs> no, we'll give you a chance. Okay, Simon says, touch your shoulder. Simon says, touch your head. Simon says, touch your back. Simon says, touch your nose. Simon says, touch your eyes. Simon says, touch your mouth. Shoulders. Woo, everybody loose. <laughs> because I didn't say Simon says. You see. Mm -hmm. You see how that, you like it, yeah? <laughs> Francisco, <Yeah>. like, <laughs> all right. Is everybody ready to rock and roll today? Yeah. I um no, nah. I don't listen. Is everybody ready? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. All right. Yes. That's all right. the spirit. That's energy. Come on. Let's move on. Okay. There you go. Okay. Cool. 
So guys, today we're gonna have so much fun because this model is everything related to practice. Practice related to every roles or different roles of uh, where you work, for example. Some of you are already managers. Some of you are working the customer service area. Some of you work in the sales department, et cetera, right? But um, you, if maybe you would like to apply for this position, Maybe, yeah, maybe no. Who knows, right? Yeah, of course, Matt only will be the, the CEO for El Salvador. We don't know. Yeah. Oh, Amelia will be like what? Part of the development team or the WFM team. I don't know, right? Of course, but we need guys to also to learn um, different vocabulary that we're going to use in that environment. And at the same time, basically different situation or scenarios that maybe we're going to face it through every day or not. But first of all, I just want to ask you a quick question. All righty, could you please guys let me know um, if you would like to become a manager? Raise your hand. Oh my God, only Amelia, Madeline, and Kenya. Oh, and Joshua. Oh yeah, very good, Hassan. All righty, cool. So I would need your help. Let's practice the reading skill, okay? I will need your help right now with a different thing. So I'm gonna share it right now on my screen. And you will see my beautiful me. I'm just kidding. All right, there you go. You see, this is the teacher with the long hair. <laughs> well, I haven't cut my hair there, so all right, okay. Very good. So guys, um, I want you to help me read something. Who can help me read it? All right, can you see it? Yeah? Yeah. 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 All right, so do me a favor. When I want you guys to read the objective or the general objective for this entire model. Not only for this class, for this entire model. Volunteer to help me read. All right, thank you so much for reading. And let's see. May uh, I? Uh, um, who? Excuse me. Who said? Manage. May I? May I? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, of course, Madeline. Go ahead, girl. Read it for us. Please. The objective. Only the general objective. Yes. Okay. Uh, participants will develop competences uh, that will allow them to express orally and in writing form key aspects related to management, leadership, conflict, management of crisis and motivation at the workplace. Very good. Okay, good. Thank you so much for helping. Just double checking guys or review some uh, words. Okay, some words to practice the, um, the intonation. Are you with me? Yeah? All right. Yeah. Very good. So uh, repeat after me. Participants. 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 Develop. 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 Very good. Uh, mm -mm. Orally. 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 Allow. 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 Relate it. Related. Conflict. 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 Management of crisis. Management, Management of, of crisis. crisis. Motivation. 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 At the workplace. At the, at work the workplace. workplace. Uh -huh. workplace. Uh -huh. Very good. Yes, at the workplace. Okay, wait a minute. Uh -huh. right. Yes. Yes, I'm back. Yes. All right. Very good. Why um, I'm asking you that because I want you guys to practice that correct intonation and the pronunciation of the words. So repeat up to me. Participants. Participants. Develop. Participants. Develop. 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 Allow. 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 Related to. Related. Related to conflict, conflict. conflict. management of crisis, management, management of crisis, motivation of the workplace, 
Motivation. Very good. Okay, now guys, we're going to practice something else. It, with a different part, with the same paragraph. And um, sometimes, guys, we need we need to like join, join, unir, join uh, words so to sound more natural and at the same time to speed up a little bit our uh, speaking, right? So I'm going to uh, join some words. And I want you guys to help me basically put it together. All right. So repeat after me. Related to management. Related to management. Related to management. Related to management. Now this one. At a workplace. At a workplace. If you see, guys, this particular, it sounds like ara, right? Uh, at a workplace, no, at the workplace, at a workplace. 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 We join, we join three words, ara, at a workplace. At a workplace. It's like wave, at a workplace. At a workplace. Very good, exactly. Very good. Ah, and one thing, guys, I want you to double check something with you. Yeah. How you pronounce this word? Of. of. What? Of. 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 Uh -huh. of. of. Who said of? Me. I don't. I cannot see you, baby. Sorry. Alexander. <laughs> oh, Mr. Alexander, did you see? Yeah. Very good. And that's that is got correct pronunciation. Thank you, Alex. Let me let you know why, guys. This one. Right. This one, you pronounce it like this, right? Because that means, for example, turn off your camera. You see? That means disconnect. However, um, if, for example, in the case that we are seeing here, we're seeing the word, this one, right? With one F. So we got to pronounce it like this. Of. 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 Oh. Of, of yeah, management of a crisis, of a crisis. Is it? Of a, Let me close my mouth. Of a crisis, of a crisis. Of a crisis. So that means that this part of your teeth will touch a little bit the lower lip of classes. Of class. Mm -hmm. You see? I know, guys, it will be a little bit hard at the beginning because we normally use, we, we pronounce OF like, O-F-F, -F. we said off, right? Most of the time, off. But that is not the correct pronunciation. It's of, as Alex said. Okay? Of. Of. All right, so let's listen to the pronunciation of the first um, a paragraph. And then we're going to ask Madeline again to help us with the pronunciation, right, Madeline? Oh, teacher, I hate you. Yes, I know, don't worry about it. Okay, teacher. No, no, no. Okay, let's listen carefully. Participants would develop competences that would allow them to express orally and written from key aspects related to management, leadership, conflict, management of crisis, and motivation of the workplace. Okay, Madeline, go ahead. It's your turn. Was it really fast? <laughs> oh, sorry. No, but do your best. Do your best. <laughs> okay. Uh, participants will develop competences that will allow them nah, nah. to export. Nah. A lot. Nah. A lot. Nah. For the beginning, participants <laughs> will, Partici will develop. Develop. Aha, participants, go ahead. You can do it. participants will develop competences that will allow them to express orally in and in writing. No, for the beginning. Go ahead. <laughs> per teacher <laughs> if, 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 if we spend two hours it's gonna be, be, be with for Madeline right so you can like <laughs> I'm sorry that, I'm just gonna, go ahead you can do it participants will develop competences Again, with develop <laughs> develop I'm sorry okay, go ahead do it participants will develop competences that with a lot them to express orally and in written form key aspects related to management, leadership, conflict, mm -hmm. 
manage, management of, of a crisis and motivate, uh, motivation at a work at a workplace. Yay! <laughs> Very good job, girl! <laughs> Give it double five, you see? <laughs> I know. Was it was it hard, guys? A little bit? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> no way. Okay, very good. Excellent. Who can help me continue reading the rest of the introduction? Thank you so much for uh, Fernando Ernesto. Go ahead. Do your best. Like mm. okay, go ahead. Continue. Uh, the sixth module of the intermediate level of the National English for Work program series builds up the communicator strategies, vocabulary, and the, that, that were gram grammatical structures necessary for par par participants, par participants? Par participants to communicate successfully with others in work and social situation that might or might not be familiar to them. Very good, stop there, very good. Good, good, good job, excellent. Continue reading for me, Talma. Okay, each unit is designed to develop, develop, develop. specific, develop, okay. Develop specific competences around them. And all the sections of the units are units are integrated for uh -huh. the participant to be able to complete tasks as indicators of how well they have mastered the competences for a particular unit. Very good, very good. Continue reading for me, Blanquita. Program series builds up the communicative strategies. Uh -huh. Blanquita. Strategies, color, and grammatical structure. Who's speaking? Who's speaking? For speaking? Participants <laughs> to communicate successfully. 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 Fernando. Fernando, Fernando please mute. Yes, thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I'm worried. I'm just kidding. Don't worry about that. <laughs> okay, Alexander, they just used. Could you please continue reading all those? I, I, I'm going to start, but. <gasps> oh, yeah, excuse me. Oh, yes, yes, Alexander. <laughs> Ladies first. Go ahead, Blanky. Also, the National English uh, for Work Program series is not form based. Each unit featured linguistic elements like vocabulary and predictable, predictable yeah, grammar yeah. structures that will help the participants achieve the mm -hmm. task associated to the competition. Uh -huh, competition. Go ahead. Presented for that particular unit. Very good. Module... So, 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 uh, she gets all excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know what you said? I'm so excited and I just can't hide it, right? I don't want to lose control, but I think I like it. Yeah. All right. Very good. Very good. Thank you, Blanky. Okay. Now, yes, Alex, move on. Okay. Module six features vocabulary related to styles of management, strategies to solve conflict, employee recognition programs, etc., and grammar structures like conditional sentences, adjective clauses subordinate adverbial clauses or gerunds as uh, subjects. Very good. So you see, guys, we are going to see grammar. That's for sure. All righty. So don't be scared. All right. Jesse Cadge and Eric Cortez, continue reading, please, and finish the last, the last one. You're, you're, so, you're so on mute. I'm sorry, teacher. That's okay, don't worry. <laughs> in, a, in addition to the communicative task completed in the classroom, self-study com components like links to, to listening comprehension, reading, com reading comprehension, extending grammar and vocabulary, and vocabulary online practice are included to L. The participants have and integral languages development. Uh, science communication ta takes place through 
the integration of linguistic skills. Very good. Okay, I'm not going to like uh, basically um, correct all the pronunciation the word is going to be right now uh, during the process, during the model. What I want, guys, is that you are self-confident and reading. It doesn't matter if you make a mistake right now. That's okay. It's part of the process. Okay, very good. So now, guys, uh, that reading is not just reading, right? <laughs> reading is more than that. Ken is like, I'm so freaking out right now. Yeah, yeah, basically, you know what it is? Uh, reading, part of the reading skills that we need to learn, it is basically understand what we're reading, right? That is reading comprehension. <laughs> that is one of the things that you saw right now. So tell me, guys, in your own words, do you remember what we are going to learn in this model according to what you heard or what you have read? Thank you so much, Jessica. <laughs> Somebody's falling asleep, but I'm about to ask you some questions, so don't worry about that. All righty. Uh -huh, Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dija, but that's I, okay. I, I, I'm in a, in a meeting in my phone. She's most so, skilled right now. Okay, <laughs> okay. Did you finish already, or you need some time to to uh, to write down? Uh, not yet. Oh, okay. But tell me something in your own words. What you have read right now? What did you understand? Mm -hmm. Of course, not, not the whole idea, like nothing. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just understand some words and. Uh huh. Yeah, tell me, what do you understand? Don't doesn't matter. Yeah. I, I don't want you to read me the whole paragraph. No way. I just want you to let me know what did you understand. Um, maybe uh, because I need uh, to improve more vocabulary. Mm -hmm. uh, when I, uh, when other people uh, uh, speaking uh, some words, I don't understand, but, but mm -hmm. I think it's because I need to improve more vocabulary, mm -hmm. right? It's for that reason, and then some, some cases, uh, uh, for me, it's difficult to understand uh, when other people uh, speak really fast. Okay, like the teacher, okay. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. So what you read, right now you have read the introduction, right? Of the yeah. part of the introduction. So what you have read, what did you understand? What we are going to do? Uh, um, I'm going to do... Uh, I don't know. This year. Don't worry, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> it's okay to say I don't know. Don't worry. But you, you will improve. I promise. Okay. okay no, I know. You. I know because sometimes right now you're trying to do, be in your class, which mm -hmm. I'm really happy that you're here. But at the, but at the same time, you are uh, still in job, right? As your your as your work. So it sometimes, guys, it's really hard to be like multitasking, mm -hmm. to divide yourself in a different ways. And you're going to learn that today. You're going to learn from today. You will learn that because that is really important skill. But that's okay, Jesse. Don't worry. Okay, what about uh, 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 Andres? Tell me, what did you understand from your co workers' reading? Uh, that we will study different topics like uh, management, mm -hmm. management of food conflict, managing crisis, and management and motivation. Okay, very good. Very good, thank you, Giovanni. And guys, who can tell me how we're going to do that? Because it's different when we are physically in one class classroom, right? But here we are like through internet. So it's totally different procedure. How we're going to do that, what Giovanni said, how? By practicing and also dimension self-study. Exactly, exactly. So guys, I'm going to give you homeworks. I will let you know, hey, please check this link, right? To like improve a little bit, to get more information on what we have seen. We're going to do a pair practice uh, here alive. Also, we're going to do our own writing activities. We're going to practice vocabulary like we were in the office, etc. Okay, 
And guys, are we going to see um, or get to know a little bit better, like some grammar points or no? Yes. 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 For example? Yes. Which one that's mentioned? Which ones? Join sound. What, Alex? Join sound. Joins. Okay, what else? They mentioned some, some more. Linguistics. Linguistics, yes. But a specific grammar points, do you remember? No, teacher. <laughs> I will kill you. Now let's go back. Let's go back. Don't worry about it. Let's Maybe the, the pronunciation of some words that uh -huh. like yeah. off, we, we have to pronunciate up. That is, that is, a, I remember one of uh -huh, the very, recommendation. Yeah, very good, Fernando. Yeah, and we have more of them. For example, let me go back and come in. There we go. There you go. Okay, we have here some of them. Yeah, you see, like adjective clauses, subordinate adverb clauses, gerunds, uh, subjects etc okay yeah conditional sentences you see and also we're, we're going to work like in some some problems that we might face uh right now on the job that we are applying or in the job that we would like to be so for example you see style of management is strategies to solve conflict when you face a problem a uh, what type of a problem that you might face there will be um, steps to follow to solve that. Or for example, when you are a really, really good employee, how you're going to congratulate your employee for all the hard work that they do and also contributes to the team's work, right? That's really important. And you, and you see, vocabulary, Mr. Fernando, vocabulary related to all of it. So you see that it's going to be really interesting model. It will be nice. There you go. Okay, guys. So let's move on, right? <laughs> any doubts? Any questions? Feel free to ask. Not too sure. Are you serious? 100%? No. She's just is like, no. At least she's honest. This is a no. <laughs> All right, very good. Uh, who's sleeping? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I love Mr. Will and Alexander because it's like that. And then say, who's sleeping? He's like, I'm here. I'm 100% here to be honest with you. Yes, I am. Like this. And he opens like that huge eyes like that, right? Yep. I'm going, I have put some tape here. So my eyes are already stick like this. Yeah, you see? <laughs> yeah, you know what? That's okay for me, guys. If you need to drink some water or if you need to drink a cup of coffee or tea, that's fine for me, okay? Don't worry about that. Yes, that's cool. That was weird. Yeah. There you go. And, but what is not good for me, Alexander, is that you have a pillow and you're sleeping. <laughs> so you know what? I used to have one of the classmates or one of the students who they were receiving the classes on a hamaca. Can you imagine? And I was like, no. Or a pillow, that the pillow, the back of the pillow was like a stars, like if you were in the universe, right? So it was like, like you were in the NASA or something like that. So you cannot imagine. For me, it was really hard because I was like, I just want to go to sleep, but I keep watching those stars. So no way. <laughs> yeah, but that's good, guys. I'm just kidding. Okay, but I just make you feel good. All righty. Very good. So let's continue, right? Yeah or no? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes, that's yeah, that I need. Come on. All right. So let's move on. Okay, guys, you see, we're working right now. We're all right. Well, we already have started. But guys, I want you to help me read this part. I will be able to, in this model, in this unit one that we're talking about, that what is the topic of this one? What is the topic, guys? Management. 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 What is management? Any idea? What is it? What is handle. It? What? Handle. Handle what? 
management. handle is... administration. Uh -huh. management, teacher, management, yes, sir. Management is similar to coach to the to the staff. Management uh -huh. is, in, is in, in Spanish. Can I can I speak with the with the yes, in Spanish? You can. Gerencian. Gerencian. Yes. Yes, exactly. The, 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 the traduction in English for Spanish is gerenciando. Yes, exactly. Very good. Or it's related but, to but, administration. But, mm -hmm. Yes, but in the in the in the in the in Spanish, we don't use uh, that name, gerenciando. Yes. Yeah. It's like the coach, like the leader in the in the bank company. Exactly. Very good, Elwin. Very good. You see, guys? Uh -huh. We're helping each other. That's great. Thank you, Elwin. Thank you so much for, for sharing your knowledge. Okay, guys. So you already know what is management in Spanish or in English. Thanks to Elwin. All right. Very good. So this is a topic, management. So, guys, I want you guys to focus on this one really quickly. Let's see. Let me click on this one. Yes. Here. Here on your left upper corner left upper corner la eh, la esquina superior izquierda right left upper corner all right what what you will be able to do at the end of this uh, unit uh can you now let's double check if we can hear you uh-huh can you do it now? She she oh, okay, wrote okay. something. Okay, doki. <laughs> okay, doki. That means cool. Don't worry, dear. All right, very good. Okay, that's okay. All right, so uh, 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 Blanquita, can you please be yeah. so kind to read it for us? I will be able yes. to. I will be able to describe the main ask, ask task, task. <laughs> and resp responsibility of a manage manager within a company. All right, very good. So that's where you're, all of you guys will be able to do. Will be able, it will be, will be capable. Okay. Yeah, you will do it. That you will be able to describe the main task. That means um, the main activities. We can say that responsibilities of a manager yes within the company okay so i i remember that i asked some of you at the beginning of the class if you would like to become a manager and i think it was like a four or five hands raise it right uh-huh okay all right but now i think amelia was one of them right amelia i remember that so tell me or, or how do you tell if you are ready to take a responsibility of a manager uh, do you think that you're ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> See, she's yeah. so self-confident. Go ahead, girl. Yeah, well, I think that the things that I'm searching now to be mm -hmm. uh escalate in my area because I would like to be a team leader of a management would be like uh I mean handle the people, mm -hmm. uh give motivation to them. Uh this way they can improve and arrive to the to the metrics that, mm -hmm. that we need like a team mm -hmm. so i think the most important thing that i need is to confident and the best way that i can share all the ideas and metrics to my team very good that's yeah. good excellent yeah what about who else said i think it was blank thank you so much amelia i think it was uh, blanky and madeline right also raise your hand Madeline, yeah? Yeah, but Blackie, no, right? Yes. Okay, what yes. about you, uh, Madeline? Do you share the same ideas of Amelia or do you have uh, something else to uh, to provide to this class? Uh, I I think the same in mm -hmm. like Amelia because uh, you have to uh, make her responsible uh, with the uh, ideas, or the decision that you make. And mm -hmm. also uh, you have to be a leader and try to do the best for not only you, because you have another person that will uh, follow your, your decision. 
And exactly. Very good. So you will have not only to uh, improve the skills that you will lead, uh, for example, like Amelia said, to, to handle a group of people. Of course, you are a team, a team leader, but you have somebody else ahead, right, on the top, which is your supervisor, right? So basically, also, you will need to learn how to, um, for example, deal with that kind of situation in this case when there is something wrong in the company and there, is, there are some areas that we need improvement, right? Yeah. How we handle those situations? Oh, well, so we're going to start. And you know, guys, the best way to start is to practice a conversation, right? To make a role plays and all those stuff. So I, I think you're going to be ready. Okay, basically, guys, this um, um, conversation that we're about to practice, it is basically with Tom, and that is part of the manager's advances furniture store. You see, have you ever heard about furniture store, Benson's? No, no, this is the first time. Okay. So in this case, a Robert or Tom uh, basically has a manager. His name is Robert and he's not happy with sales. Oh my God. So how we are going to um, basically talk with a manager when we face that situation in our company. Guys, do you work at sales area? Do you work at sales area? Or have you yeah. worked in a sales area related? Uh huh. Hey, it's nice when everything is go when it's good, right? When we have a really good sales and all that stuff. But when we have a crisis, commissions. Yes, commission. How we handle that situation? Oh well, we're going to start with that. Okay, I want volunteers and I want two boys to practice this conversation. Guys, do you have it? Uh, with you or no? Do you have it open your student book? No? No yet. No yet? Okay, do me a favor. Try to open your student book, please. And when you have it open, let me know because we're going to practice this. But don't take forever, okay? I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, you know what? For some of you that you don't have your um, student book open, let me send that information to the WhatsApp, okay? So just allow me a couple of minutes more. But I will prefer that all of you open it um basically on your on your book so that would be really good you have it open already yes or no Hello. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So if you have it, that's amazing. Let's go back. All right. So I want volunteer, please, to help me read um, this in basically conversation that we do have here. Uh, so let's see. Let's pick big the next victim. Sorry, the participant. All right, Josue Alberto. Would you like to be Tom? Sure. Okay. What about? Will and Alexandra Ramirez Flores, would you like to be Robert? You look like a manager. But I don't have the book. You don't have the book? No. Not Amelia? No, no, no. Oh my God. All right. So before we move on, I will provide it to you that information right now. But I'm not I'm going to share with you. I'm going to do it in a different way. Okay. Oh, I thought you had it. No? Teacher, could you share in your screen? Yes, it's I will. In the platform. In it's in the platform. Yeah, definitely. But I will send yeah. it to you right now. And then yeah, I, have, I have it above. Okay. And I will also uh, share it with my screen. Okay. I send it to everybody's um, WhatsApp group. Can you find it? Do you have it? No. In a Teacher, minute. Ah, with, go ahead, girl. I don't know where is the book. I don't oh, know. When you go to the platform, yeah, and you yeah. enter the first unit, at the top, you will be able to see it. But let me share it right now with you, okay? okay. So I will, I will let you know where you can see it. 
There you go. Da, 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 da. Let me double check and get into the um, a, a, a platform so I can share with to you where you have to go. There you go. I will let you know in a minute. So just allow me a couple of minutes more. All right, there you go. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so let me share right now my screen and I will teach you where to go. Okay, we're in the platform, right? Yeah? Okay. So do you see here at the top? Yeah? So when you're in the platform and select the model, in this case, we are in this model, at the top, you will see course, progress, dates, discussion, and a student's manual, right? So just click on that one and you will be able to pop it up. You see? Let me click on this. And it will appear. So bear with me for a couple of minutes more. There you go. Right now it's loading. It's loading right now, it's loading. You see, it's loading. You can see, it. you see? Do you see it here, yes, everybody? Sir. Okay, yes. so, so that's where you have to go, you see? You will see all of it right now. Okay, it's it takes time to load, right, all the pages, but there you will be able to see. Is it better, Alexander? You can download yeah. too. Yeah, of course, you can download it. Yeah, of course, you can do it. You see? I found it. You see here, when you click on here, that is an icon that is like a down a download item. You see, download it. You gotta click on it, and they will download the whole um, book or the student book on your computer. So you don't have like each class. You don't have to like go to the platform and check the the, the book over there. You can just download it and save it in your desktop or in your documents or which place you will consider that you will find it easier. Is it better now? Yeah? Yes, Definitely. teacher, thank you. You're more than welcome, thank you. So who's who's ready? Who, who were the victims? Oh, Josue, right? <laughs> and I think it was Alexander Ramirez. Alex, do you have it already with you? Yeah. Okay, cool. So I think uh, Tom was Josue and Robert was Alexander, if I'm not mistaken. All right. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So, hmm. Benson's store sells conflict. Okay. As scenario number one, action. Go ahead. I hate to tell you this, Tom, but our sellers were down again last month. Down again, Robert? Yes, even after implementing the new changes, people are shopping at our competition, Shagans, furniture store. Unbelievable. Since they are too expensive, he'll evaluate our current plan, implement a new advertisement campaign, and monitor our from sales assistant. So they do a better job that may help. Yes, I wanted to talk to you about that. Your current advertising campaign is a mess. I'm sorry to hear that. I thought I would make our sales go up. Well, organize things better and get results this month or you'll get demoted. Tom. Wow, very good. Okay, guys, how do you feel about Alexander, the boss? Hmm. He's... He's tough, but at the same time, polite, right? Okay, that's good. Very good. Josue, you were like, oh my God, he's going to, I'm going to get fired from this guy. Yeah, I know. I know. It's like, Ooh. you guys, for the first time that you're doing the role, please, congratulations. You did an amazing job. Very good. Good job, guys. Excellent. Yeah, I, I know it was like, Ooh. all right. There you go. Tell me, guys, now that everybody was watching what your um, classmates were practicing, do you have, guys, any vocabulary that you don't know what does it mean and you would like to know the meaning? Is everything clear, like water or like water?
Uh huh. Clear? Clear? Yes? Or no? Okay, very good. Yeah. yeah. Okay, um, I'm, I'm going to. Yes, go ahead. Who said M? 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 I have uh, one word. The okay. Mo the motor. The, the motor. Oh. I, I don't know the, the pronunciation. All right. Okay, let me do it right now again. And don't worry. I'm going to share right now with you. Let me go back. Let me go back right now, guys, to the script. And let me put it right now. Uh, which one, Madeline? I'm At here. the end of the of the paragraph of the conversation, sorry. Uh, Robert, uh, well organized things get the motor, the motor. Uh -huh. I don't know. Okay, you know, you know what? I'm gonna give you a tip, guys. Sometimes we might not uh, understand the whole vocabulary, right? And of course, that is part of the process. But how come we get like an idea what this word might mean? You got to read the whole scenario, right? So in this case, read it, Madeline, for everybody, the last part of Robert's intervention. Can you please read it? Okay. Well, organize things better and get results this month or you'll get demoted, Tom. Demoted. Demoted. Uh-huh. So what do you think that that might mean? Any idea, Madeline? Alex? Maybe Josue, the level. Uh -huh. Kind of it, okay. What else? Doris, Yuri, Erwin. What do you think the mode it might mean? Like encourage. Mm. You think it's a positive or it's a negative word? Disappointed. Uh-huh. Yes, it's a negative word. And the mode it, guys, means degradada degradado right that is what it means so that means that <laughs> right now you're a sales manager but if you can get result this month you will be like removed from the position okay you know now you got an idea yeah okay yes, okay thank so you. you're welcome no thank you so much for asking okay congratulations for your tone of voice guys but i want more enthusiastic okay alex good you are doing a really good job of being a voice josue try to try to be tom for a little time and imagine that you are a manager of that company and you're trying to do your best to sell product for this month but things are not going well that you respected so mr robert alice alexander comes and like Hey, Tom, what's going on with the cells, you know? Uh -huh. All right. So try to be like that is an error, right? Try to put in practice or use your imagination. Okay. So would you like to try one more time? Second time? Robert said, mm, not really. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know. I know you, you can. You can do it. Josue, now we're going to switch roles. Okay. Josue, now okay. you're going to be Robert. And Alexander, you're going to be Tom. Mm. All righty. Okay, so Benson's Furniture Store sells situation. Action number two. Second scenario. Go ahead. I hate to tell you this, Tom, but our sales were down again this month. Down again, Robert? Yes. Even after implementing the new changes, People are chopping at our competition, Segan Furniture Store. Unbelievable. Uh, things that are too expensive. I evaluate our current plan, implement a new advertisement campaign, and monitor our front cell assistant to, to, so they do a better job. That might help. Yes. I wanted to talk to you about that. Your current advertisement campaign is a mess. I'm sorry to hear that. I thought it would make our sales go up. Well, organize things better and get results this month or you'll get demoted, 
Is demoted, Tom? Demo demoted, demoted, Tom. Yeah. Okay, very good. Now, guys, try to try to sound more natural, not reading. Try to start to sound more national. For example, Alexander, when when Robert said, mm, "Your cells are not good," you said, "Unbelievable," and I was like, "I don't believe him that he feels like me." Right? Like, uh, well, I yeah, exactly. Uh -huh, exactly. Sound like, uh huh. So, yeah. So you have to like show us your emotion. Like you were like, "Oh my God." Don't tell me that. You see? It's unbelievable. Of course, not exaggerating, right? But when you when somebody's like saying you, you thought that you're doing your job correctly, but there's somebody else who comes and you know what? You're not doing the things right. You're like, really? What? Don't tell me that. You see? You gotta feel the emotion that you're trying to do your best and you're doing what they're asking you for, but things are not going right. So that's what I want. I wanna feel that you feel it, you know what I mean? That's what I want, less reading and more empathetic. All right, let's see, don't worry, I'm gonna give you a brief, okay? So don't worry, Jose, don't worry, Alexander, okay? Yeah, I will use somebody else, don't worry about it. But I just keep on eye on you. Oh. <laughs> Very good, but good job, guys. Excellent, amazing job, I like it. Fernando. Fernando yes. and Giovanni. All right, let's see. Okay. <laughs> my next speaking, sorry, my next participants. May I apologize for that. All right. So I think, uh, Fernando, you're going to be Robert, and Giovanni, you're going to be Tom. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Yes, another number three. Okay. Action. Go ahead, guys. Uh, I had to tell you this, Tom, but our sales were down again last month. Down again, Robert? Yes. Even after implementing the new changes, people are shopping at our competition, Sagan's Furniture Store. Unbelievable. Things there are too expensive. I evaluate our current plan, implement a new advertising campaign, and monitor our front sale assistants so they do a better job. That may help. Yes, uh, I want to talk to you about that. Your current advertising campaign is a mess. I'm sorry to hear that. I thought it would make our sales go up. Well, organize things better and go to school this month or you will get the money, Tom. Very good. Excellent. Okay, Andres, you are like, no way. I thought I was doing the right thing, right? Very good, very good, guys. A very good, um, Fernando. Good job. Very good. And, and very good at you too, Andres. But in the part, guys, or if Tom when it says unbelievable, try to sound that you don't if that you don't understand what is wrong, because you're doing your things. For example, you can say, unbelievable. Things are too expensive. I evaluate our current plan. I implement an advertisement campaign and monitor ourselves from assistance so they do better. So that might help. You see, guys? You see that you put the assistance? You, you are in your tone of voice, you are showing that you care and that you are doing what you can. I do this, I do this, I do that. You need to sound more natural about it. Last intervention, but very good job. Alexander de Jesus, you're gonna be Tom and Fernando, you're gonna be Robert. Okay, last role play. Go ahead, guys. Okay, here we go. It's another number four action. Okay, all right, Mr. Robert, Fernando. I am Robert, of mm. course. I was Robert last time. I, I don't, don't worry, I just want you to be don't worry. Okay, again. of course. Yeah. You're uh, a really good one. Okay, <laughs> uh, I had to tell you this time, but our sales were down again last month. Down again, Robert? Yes, even after implementing the new changes, people are shopping at our competition, Sagan Furniture Store. Unbelievable, things there are too expensive. I'll evaluate our current plan, implement a new advertising campaign, 
and monitor our front sale assistance. So they do a better job that might help. Yes, uh, I want to talk to you about that. Your current advertising campaign is a mess. I'm sorry to hear that. I thought it would be make it would make our sales go up. Well, uh, organize things better and get results this month, or you will get the money, Tom. You know what? Wow! <laughs> I quit. <laughs> <laughs> Very good job. You know what? Very good. Very good. I like it. I like everybody. You did your best and that's really nice. But you know what? Sometimes it depends on our personality, right? So I was like, that's good. That's good. You know what I like, Fernando, this time that you didn't do the, the last time is that you, you said you use your facial expressions. Like you said, eh. <laughs> and it sounds, you know what? And you know what? When you're like, <sighs> that it's it, we everybody we could feel it in your tone of voice and and you turn your 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 face like oh my god this tom right yeah so be, very good very good that's good job that's very excellent job hey guys how you feel about your classmates intervention did they do good yeah yeah, oh, come on. Yeah, please. teacher. Applause for them. <laughs> yeah, you did an excellent job. Very good job, guys. Excellent. There you go. You broke my heart. All of you. Excellent job. Very good job. Very good job. Yes, all of you. Excellent. So now, guys, that you have heard how many times, like four times, right? A dialogue. Let's let me ask you some specific questions. Yeah. All right. So let's practice that and let me ask you some specific questions related to it. All right, so tell me this. What are the three of Tom responsibility as a manager? Who can tell me? Three Tom responsibilities as a manager. Who can tell me that? Only one, only one. I know everybody wants to participate. Uh, but planning, planning. Planning, what else? Uh, evaluate, evaluate, uh huh? Be a monitor. Monitor. Mon very good. What does Robert mean by organizing things better? What does he mean? When he said to Tom, ah, you better organize the things better. Uh-huh. What did he want to say? Maybe change the things that they made before. And uh -huh. that's a good idea. Uh-huh. I create a new strategy. Uh-huh, create a new strategies. Very good. Any other idea, guys? Only one. I know everybody wants to participate. I need only one guy. Yes, only one. Get more results. Increase your results. Yeah. Increase your the results. results. Yeah, definitely. You're right about that. Okay. One more idea. Any anybody else? Mm-hmm. No? Okay, that's good. Now, guys, I'm going to share something with you. And I want you to work in pairs, okay? So how many we are right now? 15, with me, 16, yes. Okay, I'm going to give you guys some um, vocabulary. But the vocabulary is going to be in disorder. So uh, you will see like a square, right? And in your, let's see, yes, in your right side, you will see like words, like main words. And in your left side, we'll, you will see the meanings, but they are in disorder. So what I want you to do is like match it, okay? So I will give it to you only two minutes. That will be enough. Two minutes. Teacher, yes, students, I apologize for that. All right, so let me double check who's going to be with you. You have, you have that in your student book, right? You have that? Let me let you know which page it will be, and I will let you know that. All righty, uh, let's see. Page nine. Page nine, exactly, will be section four. You got to match the terms with their corresponding definition. We have implement, monitor, evaluate, plan, and organize. And you have four possible meanings. So that's what I want you to do. I want you to work in pairs. So let me democratically switch it for you. All righty, let's see. Nobody was going to work with me, okay? So don't worry about that. 
Uh, 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 uh. So if you are 15, how many groups do I have to create? Who's good in math? Who's good Eight. in math? Eight. And yeah, yes, eight. Yeah. I'm going to be alone. <laughs> All righty, very good. Okay, so please, guys, do me a favor. Click on the invitation and move on. Two minutes. Two minutes to resolve that. That's enough. Hi, Hello. Blanky. What happened, Blanky? I'm going to share the screen, but uh -huh. it's disabled. 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 Uh, yeah. Host, host disabled participants screen sharing. Ah, that means that you cannot share the screen. Yeah. Yeah, but what 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 Can happened? I... I'm going to share the screen for for make the the exercise. No, you have to use it your own student's book. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, Judy, do you have your student book or no? Yes, I have, teacher. Okay. And also you, Blanky. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's because it's, <laughs> it's a rule. But only the okay. teacher will be able to share it, yes. Okay, okay. Okay, so are you practicing? Yeah, right now you're doing your best. Okay. Okay, guys. I will double check right now with the other guys. Okay, just bear with me. Bye bye. Okay. Take care. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay. We have to uh, connect the words, right? All right. Hi, how is it going? Good. Okay. Good. One more minute, <laughs> right? Okay. Yeah. Oh my God. I don't want to interrupt you. <laughs> All right, very good guys, excellent. Continue doing this, okay, there you go. Okay, did you finish? Yes, teacher. Oh, excuse me, you are like a Speedy Gonzalez, right? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, very good. Okay, so I think everybody will come back together, right? It's time to come back. All right, there you go. Yes. All right, I will, I will say, baby, come back. You see? All right. There you go. <laughs> so let's come back, guys. All right, Madeline, we have Andres, Fernando, Josue, did you finish, guys? Yes? No, teacher. No, Madeline, <laughs> uh, don't worry. I, I had a problem with my, my you... partner. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. If you, if you finish, good. If you don't, don't worry. Everybody here, we're going to support each other. There you okay, go. Okay, thank you. Teacher. You're welcome, you're welcome. Don't worry about that. Okay, I'm waiting for William. Mr. Alexander, Jocelyn, Madeline, here we go, Jesse. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm still waiting for our guys here. Mm -hmm. Steffi, Blanky, ooh, there you go. Everybody's coming, yeah. All right. Okay, guys, how was it? Was it good? Was it easy? Was it like... Piece of cake. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> A piece of cake, oh my God. Yeah. Okay. 
Let's double check it was a piece of cake or not. <laughs> Easy peasy queasy, yeah? Yeah. Easy peasy. Easy peasy queasy. Have you heard that expression already? Yeah, it's the first time. Yeah. It's the first time. Okay, easy peasy queasy is another way to say Alexander piece of cake. Okay. All righty. Hey, talking about idioms, guys. Have you heard any mini money mo? Yeah. Only in only in the in a song. In a Justin Bieber song, right? Yeah. Mini, mini, money, my lover. Is that right? Okay. Yeah. That means in, in Spanish, the team marine, the doping with. That is what it means. For example, that is one of the first <laughs> words that we that we learn in kindergarten. <laughs> Any mini, mini, mo. That means the team marine, the doping with. So it is, it, that is the same expression in English. Any, mini, mini, mo. The team marine, the doping with. So now you know, you see, every day you learn something new. All righty guys, so let's share right now and let me double, let's do it together, okay? Let's do it together as a team. All right, so we were here, right? Let's see, we were here. We have implement, monitor, evaluate, plan, and organize. Repeat after me guys, implement. 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 Monitor. 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 Evaluate. Evaluate. Plan. 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 Organize. Organize. Okay. So let's let's read it here. Uh, 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 Doris, do me a favor, Doris. Could you please read for me number one? Just read it. Just read the meaning. Arranging production, workforce, training, and resource to achieve goals on objectives. Very good. Thank you. So, guys, what is the first one? The what is first it? one is organize, organization. Organize? Are you, organize. Agree with, are you agree with Doris? Yes. Yeah? Yes, okay. I agree. Very good. Oh my God. You see? You have, yeah, you have a group, uh, Doris. There you go. <laughs> All right. So she, yeah, they agree. Good. Good job. Number two. Um, let me double check. Blanky, number two, please. Just read it for me. Is Blanky here? All right, maybe no. Okay, Erwin. Yes, I'm it. here. Are you here? Oh, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, Blanky, that's okay. okay. Read the number two for us. Only the meaning. Okay, the meaning to check, supervise, watch, or keep track of the process. Very good. So, what's number two, guys? Monitor. Manager. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm All pretty right. sure. Very good. What about number three? Uh, oh, this was going to help me read it. Uh, 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 Jocelyn, Joshi. Okay. The process is putting a decision or planning to effect. Oh, that was that? Implement. Implement. Are you guys agree with him? Yeah? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Excellent job. Very good. What about number four? Erwin, could you please be so kind to read it for us? Yes, number four. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Uh, review and assessing the success of the goal, the plan, and the allocation of the employee and the resource. There's resources. Very good. Resources. So, what's that, yes. guys? Excellent, Erwin. What's that? Yeah. Evaluate. Evaluate? It's evaluate. Very evaluate. good. And last yeah. but not least, the last one. Yuri, can you please be so kind to read for me the last one? This is that identify the goals of or objectives to be achieved and the strategy to achieve them. Very good. So what's that, guys? Plan. Plan. Yes, obviously, right, teacher? As planned. <laughs> All right, very good. So guys, why this is important? Why this is important what we have seen? Not only because we, uh, we know some words that we uh, use in the management area. Plan, evaluate, organize, implement. And what is the other one? Uh-huh. Monitor. 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 You see, those are words 
that are really related to the management thing. But at the same time, sometimes we know, right, the words in Spanish and the meaning, we understand it, but we don't know how to explain it in English. So that's why it's really important, the exercise that we have done. Not only, guys, because we can explain it like verbally, but also we need to explain it in writing. For example, when you are sending emails, right? Do you communicate with e via email daily? Yeah? Yeah. To your manager, to the supervisor, to your coworkers, to uh, vendors or any other uh, person that you deal with every day. So that is really important. So you see? You see why so this exercise might appear like simple, but it's not. Because, and that will increase, guys, your vocabulary. You see, it will increase your vocabulary. Tell me, guys, about these definitions. Do you have any new vocabulary that you don't know what does it mean? No? Let me go back. Uh huh. Maybe track. Track, track. Hey, guys, have, oh, okay, I'm going to give you an idea. Um, how you ever use FedEx or DHL or UPS to yes. send a package? Okay, so they, yes, they, they give you they give you like a number, right? I remember. Uh -huh, tracking, like a, a number. Tracking. Exactly. That number is, is helping you to go to their website and double check where your package is, right? Uh, okay. So, so in this case, it track is like the monitor. Oh, yeah or double checking how's the process going. You know what I mean? Yeah? Do you understand? Yeah. Exactly, exactly. It's to double check. When you said keep track on the process, is that double check how is everything going? Yeah? That, what does it mean? Very good. Any other vocabulary, guys? Anything else? Assessing. Which one? Reviewing and assessing. Assessing the success of the goal. Okay. Who has an idea? Uh -huh. like evaluation. Uh -huh. mm, that's really interesting. Anybody else? And you know what? That it is. Assessing, it is uh, basically uh, a word related to evaluation. That's right. Very good job, very good job. Any other one? I have one for you, but this is related guys to the pronunciation because we have two words that they are similar, but the difference basically will be just two letters. You see this? What does it mean a shift? What does it mean a shift? Like reach. Something. Reach, exactly. Lograr, right? A shift. All right. Both of them are verbs. But this one, this one is in present, right? Mm -hmm. And this one, this one, this one is in past. That's this one, the second one, right? That is in past tense. How you pronounce the, the first one? The one in, in present, how do you pronounce it? A shift. A shift. Very good. What about the one in past? A shift. A shift. Uh -uh. Same. Shift. To be a shifted. A shifted. Shifted. Aha. Uh -huh. That's what I want to know. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah, guys, do you remember? Or that, for example, regular verbs, this is regular verb. All regular verbs would end ed, ed, but not all of them will pronounce it the same way. We got three categories to pronounce the regular verbs, three of them. And we are going to learn that as well. I will send it to you some extra information about it, okay? So don't worry about that. Yeah, but I want you to double check and focus on that. Excellent job. Very good. 
Yes, sir. Can you repeat the pronunciation of that word, please? A shift. A shift. A shift. You see, I do not open my mouth like a shift. No, a shift. Yeah. Uh -huh. Very good. We have two, uh, three pronunciations uh, with D, with T, and with ED. Even though all of them ends in ED at the end. Sorry, ID, ID, T, and D. Yes, those are three ones. So we're going to pronounce that and we're going to, to work on that. Okay, don't worry about it. I just wanted to double check if you uh, understood the pronunciation because it's really, really important. And I want to focus on something else. Teacher. Hi, teacher. Yes, I know, guys. Mm hmm. Take a look on this one. Number two. This one, number two. I didn't pass kindergarten, guys. I'm sorry for that. Okay. Yeah. What, which punctuation do I use when I try to write more than one word that has the same meaning or is part of the same group? You see? Coma. Comas. And what, which one do I use at the end? Period. Period. Guys, when you're going to write something in email, you must be very careful with the grammar. Must be very careful. If you're mentioning like potatoes, tomatoes, carrots, and all the stuff, you got to put coma, 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 and period at the end. For example, in the homeworks, if you're missing a period, I will put you wrong, even though that sentence is right. Why? Because if you do not put a period at the end, for us, for the English um, speakers, it means that you still have something else to say. Yeah, you did not complete your idea. So you must use period all the time. If you finish your idea, period, and we understand, that's it. There's no more. There's nothing more to say. Okay. I will. I will give you some experience that happens to me when I was like uh, teaching English in a different way, like in school. I remember that I did exercises and it was nine sentences, but I forgot the period in three of them. So instead of getting a nine, I got a six, and I asked the teacher why, and she gave me the same explanation that I just gave it to you right now. You missed the period at the end, but like. But it's just a period, teacher. Yes, it's just a period, but I was expecting that you say something else. So because of that, you get six instead of nine. So and I was like, okay, there's nothing more to say. So for, and I was 14 years old by then. So I'll never forget the period at the end. So never forget the period with me. Okay? Yeah. Got it. Yeah, guys, this little period depends on what you are using or in the context that you're using, it is different names. For example, in sentences, you call period. But in math, you, cut, you call point, okay? 34.3, 34.5, for example. And if you are using that in an email address, you call dot. Remember dot. Yeah. Yeah. So it's really did you see one punctuation, different contexts, different ways to say it. Remember that? Okay. I get it. You got it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Very good. Any questions? Any doubts? Feel free to ask. No, sip it. I'm just kidding. Let's move on, right? Okay, guys. Very good. So we're gonna build vocabulary right now. Okay, and I want you guys to focus on this particular example because these ones are some of the responsibilities of a manager. The label that we're responsibly using the right category. Okay, so basically, this is what I want you to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have set goals and objectives. Da -da 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 -da. So guys, I want you guys to let me know here we have some responsibilities in this little um, dot, right? On this little period. 
here at the top, I just want you to let me know if this is regarding to organize, if this is regarding to monitor, implement, evaluate, or plan. Tell me, guys. Set goals and auditives. Develop plans for promotion. Can I put it under organized category? Monitor? Evaluate? Plan? What do you think? Uh huh. I think that is plan. Plan. Okay, raise your hand who said plan. Raise your hand. All righty, physically or virtually? Are you agree with your coworker or no? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yes? All right. What about uh, Alexander? Can you please read for me the second one? Communicating this one? Yeah. Okay. Communicating plans to employees, mm -hmm. discussing and reporting progress of a strategy plan. Okay, very good. Guys, so which one will be? Organize, implement, evaluate? Uh huh. What do you think? Implement. Implement? Implement. Okay. Is everybody agree? Mm, I'm not really sure. You, why, why not? Could be evaluate. Uh -huh. Listen, communicating in plans to employees. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. All right. What about prepare a staff training manuals? and create an employee training program. Really? Is it a implement? Is it evaluate? Is it organize? Organize. Organize. Organize? Okay, really? what about number four? Develop an evaluation form to access customer service. Create disciplinary and termination procedures. Which one do you think it is? Uh-huh. Improve. Improve. Um, it is only it's only organize, monitor, organize. implement, evaluate, and plan. So only one of them, guys. You um, cannot repeat it. Uh huh. Ah, it's not easy, right? It's not easy to distinguish one to another. Uh huh. Let's implement. Implement? Yes, that's true. Very good, Claudie. And what about the last one? Review employees' work in progress on a regular basis and keep track of what employees do. Monitor. Monitor, Monitor. or Monitor, evaluate. Yeah. Okay. What do you think? Monitor. Really tricky, right? Evaluate. Evaluate, evaluator, mm -hmm. monitor, decide yourself. More person, evaluate. Uh, I guess. May, I, I think it's evaluate because it says reporting progress of a stra a strategic plan. plan. Aha, that's a good point of view. Who thinks like the same of your classmate? Aha, uh -huh. Lori, Joshi, what about you, Joshi? What do you think? Uh, no idea no idea yet yeah. hey guys yeah. remember re let's review the meaning what is implement implement the it's the process of, of putting a decision or plan of into plan. effect aha okay so it's implement the process of putting a decision on or plan in effect so according to that, which one do you think it will be implementing this one? Yeah, it's like Communicating plans to employees. Uh-huh. Excuse me, it's like a gestion in the process administration. Uh-huh. It is similar, the gestion uh -huh. yes, in the it process is. and the administration of the business. Uh-huh. So, 
That's correct. So which one do you, yes, correct, Elvin. So which one do you think will be? Uh -huh. It's not easy, right? Uh -huh. So that's gonna be your homework. I'm confusing okay. right now. I know, I know, because yeah, yeah, that's why I was double checking right now. Guys, if you have clear about what is the definition for each of them, mm -hmm. it will be easy to do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for example, let's do something. Uh, let's go back to monitor. What is monitor? To check supervise. Uh -huh. And keep track of progress, right? On process, right? Yeah. Okay, so which of these five is going to consider a monitor? The last one, maybe. The last one, exactly. Very keep good. Track. So we already know this one. Okay, monitor is this one. All right. What about, um, let's go back to the other one. Um, to The process of putting a decision or plan into effect is implement, implement right so you put in practice already what you have in theory so since so let's focus on this four which one you consider that will be implement one two three or four read it carefully read carefully the responsibilities and let me know communicating plans uh -huh. Employees discussing and recording process of a strategy plan. Aha. Uh -huh. Are you agree with your coworker, guys? Yes. Mm -hmm. All righty. Very good. All right. Let's go back. We already have two. Okay. So let's do something not to get confused. We already got implement done and we already got monitor. So we're missing organize, evaluate, and plan. That's what we're missing right now. Let's go back. Okay. So what about reviewing and assessing the success of the goal, the plan, and that allocation of, of the employees and their resources? What is this? Evaluate. Evaluate it. Okay. So which of these ones are evaluated? It could be one, three, and four. Which one it is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Four. Yeah. Mm hmm. You see? Yes, that's true. Are you agree with that with everybody, guys? Are you agree with your coworkers? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. Very good. So we're missing two. Organize and plan. Let's move on. What about this one? Process that identifies the goal or objectives to be achieved and the strategies to achieve them. Which one do you plan. think is that? Plan. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. So which one it is? Number one or number three? Number one. one. So uh -huh. yeah. Okay. So we're so exactly very good. So you see, guys, when we focus and we review with the, the, the meaning, now you will be able, it will be a little bit easier to determine the responsibilities, right? So plan is which one? This one, right? Number three, right? Yeah. Very good. Excellent job. So now I will need your help on this last one. Number six, Josue Alberto. Do me a favor. Can you please read for me the instructions? Complete the blanks using the verbs from the box to describe the competency, competencies of the manager. Very good. Okay, guys. Excellent. Good job. Thank you, Jose. So we have five, right? And we have the competencies. Problems, deadlines are met, the staff performance, staff, and creativity. Uh -huh. And we have develop, ensure, improve, identify, and motivate. So help me, guys. Which one I use for which one? For example, problems. Identify problems. Identify. Very good. <laughs> Deadlines are met. Which one? Deadlines are met. 
deadlines I met, that means the time that you have to finish your goal is completed. So you must finish. Mm -hmm. uh, sure. Ensure. 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 Very good. Mm -hmm. What about number three? A staff performance. Develop. 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 Or improve. 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 Very good. What about staff? Motivate develop. or develop? Motivate. Motivate. Yeah. Motivate. And the last one? Develop. Develop. Ooh. Oh my God, you are such amazing. You see, you know, that's good. Excellent job. Very, very good job. So you see how, how a lot of things that we have learned today, you cannot imagine, right? It's really, really nice. Yeah. Do you have any questions related to that? Mm -hmm. No. No? Okay, so this is going to be your homework. I want you guys to write in uh, one paragraph, only one paragraph. Don't feel like holes of pulper. You know what the holes of pulper is? You know what it is? <laughs> La gran novela, okay? Don't do it, the holes of pulper. I just want in one paragraph, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to write a short description of your job. That's all that I want. Yes, that's all that I want, nothing else. And then we're going to prepare with the manager's responsibilities. But I want you to just write for me that, nothing else. And you know what? Just let's make it this a little bit interesting. Write it. Think about it, right? The brainstorm comes. And then I want you to send in the WhatsApp group a, a voice report. But this is the thing. I don't want you to read what you have wrote. Don't like, I am a sales agent. This is what I do every single day of my life. No, I don't want that sounds like that way. No way, because I could identify like that. I just want you to write it, try to get the main ideas. And then with information that you have in your mind, recorded okay that's what i want nothing else i want to listen to you guys it's nice right because it's, it's different when we are here face to face and talking but it's really nice when you listen to your own voice like oh my god I, my english sounds really nice i like it yeah yeah, you, yeah it's, it's nice yeah so that's what i want okay i agree yeah Okay, that would be awesome. Oh my God, we almost finished. Have you feel the time? I don't know about you, but I don't. Ah, and one more thing before I go. Um, I'm going to share right now with you mm -mm 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 -mm. basically one uh, video that I would like you to uh, do it for me or watch it. I'm going to send it right now to the WhatsApp. Basically, this video is about great leaders to do motivate their teams. That will help you a lot, especially for the ones that would like to practice. Um, basically, or do you would like to be a team leader? Okay, so just write down the information that I sent it to you, and then you will be able to watch it on YouTube. That is an extra material, okay, that I will give it to you. All righty. I will let you know when you will be able to do your homework. I think you will be able to do your homework already on the platform. Let's see what we have. Let me check it out. Teacher, no, it don't be like that. Okay, let's double check. Allow me just one minute. Let me double check if you're able to do it right now or not. Oh, yes. Guys, the first homework on the platform 1.1, you are able to do it already at the platform. Okay? So I want you also to do it, please. 1.1. Guys, 
How do you feel about today's first class? Do you like it? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Yes. Hopefully. Very, you very good. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Hey, guys, may I ask you something? Because I have noticed sometimes that you're like, do, do I speak a little bit faster for you? Tell me the truth. I'm going to feel like... For me, it's fine. I understand Are you fine, everything. Blanky? Okay, very good. Thank you. What about for the rest? Do I, I speak can faster? Understand as well. Yeah. You can understand? I, yeah. Yes. Yes. Fine. yes? Fine. Are you sure? Fine. You. you know what? Because I try to slow down as much as I can. Because I do not speak like that. I speak faster than that. That's what I was asking you about. Okay, so Erwin, what about you? Do you feel good? Or would you like me to slow down a little bit for you? Outstanding, teacher. Yeah, so it's good? Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, cool. <laughs> All righty. Cool. Thank no, you, teacher. No, no, thank you. Every, any times, guys, that you consider I'm speaking faster or that you do not understand what I said or you said, you know what, God, teacher, I got lost. You, you feel free. Feel free to ask me and I will be more than glad to repeat, okay? In Spanish, in English, in French, I don't know what you want. I can do, yes, I can do it. And Jess is like, yes, I can. If you wanted to, yeah, yeah, I can. Because you know what? My goal is not to, of course, we need to cover material, right? But I really need that what we cover, you understand it. That's what I want. That when somebody asks you about, you will be like, ah, this is a piece of cake. I can explain to you. You, you. What do you, what, how you describe monitor? Can you please give me the definition? Of course, Giovanni says, monitor is like this, 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 right? That's what I want. But when somebody asks you, you will feel free to say it because you know what they are talking about. Guys, is it true that we can talk for something that we know, right? For something that we understand. But when we don't understand something, can we explain things? Yes or no? No. So that's what I want, that you understand and you can explain it. And of course, you agree with vocabulary. Guys, which words did we learn today? New, new words. Do you remember? Yeah, the most. Which one? A shift. A shift. What else? Track. Track. What else? Demote. Demoted. Demoted. Yeah, demoted. Very good. What else? Assassin. Which one? Assassin. Very good. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Only and one. And right now, I know the meaning of monitor, organized. Very good. Hey, remember, any mini money mo. <laughs> you remember that? Yeah, that's brand new for you. I know it's not related to the topic, but it's brand new for you, right? Hey guys, I'll I'm gonna give you um a heads up. I want you guys to study every day because I'm a teacher that always does a review for previous class. And the review could be in a different way that you cannot imagine. So you have two choices with me. You study or you study. Which one you prefer? The first one. Both. <laughs> the first one, of course, both, right? Uh-huh. Exactly. Yeah, so you better study with me. Hey, guys, but if you have any questions related to the platform or topic or anything, feel free to ask me, okay? Uh, maybe I'm not um, answering right away because I will be working. But as soon as I can, I will be able to. But just remember, I'm not 24-7. Okay, so don't write to me at 11.59 p.m. Because I will fall asleep. <laughs> okay? No, I have to give you like a heads up, right? Just in case you just like forgot what time is it? Yeah? <laughs> okay, no, I'm just kidding, guys. No, yes, but I mean it. I'm not 24-7. <laughs> all righty guys so you know what it's time to say goodbye yeah oh my god time passed really fast so it was a pleasure
to have you in the first class. Hopefully, we'll be like that way during the whole modern. And we're going to be not just students and teacher. We're going to become a family in friends. Okay? All right, guys. So, okay. hugs and kisses. Have a lovely night. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.